just got to my hotel in Anaheim and it's uh, like 2.30 on Thursday. Um, it's super friggin' hot here. Uh, Anaheim is always like 5 to 10 degrees hotter than up north where I'm from. So uh, right now I'm on the, uh, the back side of the Hilton and you can see the uh, convention center that way. You can also see the blazing sun. That's the convention center over there. You can see this is the, uh, I guess, the continuation of the hill in, and they're setting up for something down here. I have no idea what. Um, but all the BlizzCon stuff is going to happen kind of between this building and the Marriott across the street. There's like a walkway in between, which I'll show you guys. Um, usually they have some stuff set up out there. I think right now there's just a bunch of people getting merch and walking back and forth from the convention center. So, um, I've got a little bit of time to relax, I guess. God, the sun is so bright. Um, and then I gotta go over to the convention center and set up everything for my stream. Uh, right now I'm gonna unpack and I'm gonna go downstairs to find food because I haven't eaten anything for lunch. Uh, and I'm starving. So, I feel like every clip of me always ends with me saying I'm really tired or I'm really hungry. This one is gonna be, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> I'm walking over to the media entrance, what I hope is a media entrance for BlizzCon. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I think this is the line we just ended up in. Uh, or, I don't know what line this is. I don't know what line this is, I'm just gonna see what it is. Um, but I have heard like all sorts of different times about when we're supposed to be here, what time we're supposed to be here, what time we're supposed to be able to get in. I have no idea what's going on anymore, so I'm here really early. I haven't had coffee or breakfast yet. Just trying to figure out. What? I think this is the merch line. I think these guys are waiting for merch. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be able to get in. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll see. I have no idea. Sombra, and I know that you guys are going to want to see the like new gameplay of her, so I definitely want to do that, but I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Uh, I guess we'll just find out at 4 o'clock tonight. Center where BlizzCon is being held. I am ammunition. What's oh up, man? God. So I'm just hanging out in the lobby, and uh, there's tons of cosplay around. Everyone, of course, looks amazing. I've seen a ton of Hanzo. Uh, obviously, a lot of Mercy. It was cool to see that there's already somebody with a Mer the the witch uh, outfit for Mercy, which is like, how fast did you build that? Um, the Zarya looks amazing. She's the girl who actually won at 
at uh, Gamescom. She was there and she won at Gamescom, and then they had they gave her a trip to come to BlizzCon, so that was really cool seeing her again. Um, and actually getting to see her whole outfit up close is really cool. And now I've got about an hour and a half before I'm going in to stream some somber gameplay for the first time, which I'm like really, really hyped about, but I'm also super nervous to be honest because I made the mistake of checking in on Stylosa, who is streaming from 12 to 2, and he was the first person to stream like any uh, somber gameplay. And he had like 31,000 viewers. So I've never gone over, I think, five or six before. So I was like kind of freaking out because it just seems like way, way, way beyond what I've ever experienced. And I don't know what to expect. I don't know how crazy it'll be or if it'll just be like not a big deal. But I'm pretty excited to at least get the opportunity to play Sombra. Um, but I have to keep in mind that it's going to be like when I was in Germany for Gamescom and there are going to be a ton of people who have never played Overwatch before and a ton of people who may not even be PC gamers. So it might just be a bit of a struggle, but I'm still just, you know, I'm really excited for the opportunity, so it'll be awesome. So I just got done streaming at uh, BlizzCon, I streamed for four hours, got to play Sombra, which was awesome. Thank you guys for watching if you were able to, and if not, sorry you missed out. Um, Kind of, I guess, recapping some of the thoughts that I had on stream. She's super fun. Um, if you can get behind the enemy team, she's great. You know, like if you can pull off the hack and like Reinhardt's shield is just gone because you hacked him and that's it. So uh, she's a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to playing her with like a more coordinated team. Um, but now I'm gonna go back to my hotel. Oh shit, there's like a party outside or something. I have no idea. Um, I need to get like cough drops or something. My throat is killing me. It was like hurting before I started streaming and then I streamed for four hours and now I'm just like, I'm super done. I don't have plans today. I think I honestly am just gonna go back. I might just get like room service and just chill and like relax. Cause I've still got you know more stuff to do tomorrow. And today was already kind of busy, and I don't want to like burn myself out on like a two-day convention. So I'm excited to just kind of go home and, and just peace out and just watch some TV. I think is the whole plan. heading into the convention center. Um, it's about 1.30, I've got a meet and greet at two o'clock, and I have not been here at all today because I got here at 8 a.m. yesterday, and yesterday was such a long day that today I just kinda wanted to take things easy and relax a little bit, and so I'm just getting here now. Um, I watched Korea, South Korea, absolutely demolish Russia in the World Cup Finals. That was like, it was like not even fun to watch. I just felt so bad for Russia. It's great. Like, they're just dominating. They're absolutely unstoppable on like any map. It was incredible. So um, I'm gonna go, I got my Corsair meet and greet. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna be doing some stuff with IGN, which is not like, uh, it's not like a stream or anything. Well, actually it's gonna be on, it will be on a stream. I forgot about that. Okay, I gotta remember what I'm doing today. Um, but I'm gonna go to my meet and greet. And that is the plan for right now. So I just got done with my Corsair meet and greet and now I checked out the third floor where they have this thing called the Dark Moon Fair. And basically they've got all this stuff set up where they're, um, people have, there's like a panel and they had like this, uh, I didn't even know, I just like walked into this Overwatch panel which was the voice actors or some of the voice actors from Overwatch. He got my choice chocolate in my peanut butter. <laughs> you got peanut butter in my chocolate. <laughs> And they had the guy who voices Winston, and the guy who voices uh, Soldier, and they had um, May and Sombra, and Matt Mercer was there, of course, who's the voice of McCree. It was really cool, like, to hear them, uh, you know, kind of in their element and doing voice lines that are obviously not voice lines from the game. And one of the other things that they have up there is pin trading, which if you guys have never seen these pins before, you know, most conventions they have, like, people have all these pins that they sell, they're all these different characters, and this really nice girl um, traded me some Dota pin that I 
ended up with uh, for a TheraPin, which I'm super excited about. I really wanted one. And then she explained to me how pin trading works, and it's super interesting. They've got like this whole economy set up of like, well, you don't trade, you know, you only trade gold pins for gold pins, and then you like, only, you know, you like typically trade just like series, like this year's pins for this year's pins and stuff. And it's just like this whole mini system that they have set up where they trade these pins for the ones so that they can collect the full set. Um, and then there's the ones that are like more in demand and stuff, and it's really interesting. Um, but now I have to go downstairs, and I've got some, uh, I'm gonna do an interview with uh, T-Mobile, I think, and then, and then I think I have like one or two more hours of stuff, and then I'm, and then I'm done with BlizzCon. And, well, the party's tonight, but I'm done with the working part of BlizzCon. So, we're almost there. So I just finished my uh, Corsair meet and greet and I did some videos with IGN and did some hosting stuff that was pretty weird because I'm not used to that type of content, but I did accidentally break my mouse and I uh, went over to the Corsair booth and they hooked me up with another M65, so I really appreciate that because I cannot edit videos with a trackpad. That's my nightmare and I don't ever want to do that, so um, I'm pretty much done for the day, I think. Um, I know there's like the concert tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna go to that or not. I might just kind of hang out at home. My throat is killing me because I've been talking all day yesterday and all day today, and my back is killing me. So I might just, uh, might just relax and take a, take it easy, and we'll see. I don't know if JP and them want to hang out tonight, but I would probably would rather hang out with them than go to, uh, you know, go to a concert or something like that. Even if it is Weird Al, I think I would just rather, you know, do my own thing. So we will see. That's officially a wrap on BlizzCon 2016. I did go to the Twitch party last night after dinner, but it was kind of a shit show, so I didn't really stay that long. It was really nice because I had told people that I was going to be there, and I hadn't had a chance to see them all weekend, so at least I got to catch up with them at the party. Um, but it's 9 a.m. on Saturday, Sunday, rather, and I am going to go meet up with some friends who live in this area before I head home. I'm really excited to stream again, like, I think every convention I come back like really excited about streaming and I'm super excited about Overwatch like I, I wonder how long that'll last after I get back into ranked play and I just get really salty at everything but um, I'm excited about the PTR obviously everyone's gonna be really stoked about Sombra coming out so um, so yeah I had a really good time I had a really good time it was a lot of fun it was I'm tired I can hear my voice is like kind of messed up now so I'm hoping that that goes away quickly but um, overall, it was a really good BlizzCon. It was only my second one, um, but I'm looking forward to next year. And this is actually my last convention of the year, so that was kind of a, a nice tie-off, getting to see everyone again. And then I'll be traveling more at the end of the year, but this was officially the last convention. So um, looking forward to, I guess, PAX South will probably be the next one uh, at the end of January.